Research tells us that face-to-face -face is really the best way for people to get connected. And our next best way would be, you know, online having that face-to-face -face connection through WebEx or through Zoom. And so, you know, these students are so resilient and they are just so excited to be beginning a, a new chapter of their of their academic journey. And so they're they're actually came in pretty well adjusted and ready to ready to learn and uh, ready to be there to support each other out here at the table handing out the little protection packs. Um, have you guys been busy today? Have there been a lot of students picking these up? Yeah, we've probably had a, probably a couple hundred students pick them up. Okay. So we've gone, I mean, you can see here, we've gone through about four boxes, just myself. Okay. I think she's gone through four or five. I've rarely seen a student without a mask on here. They're all taking packs whenever they can. What have you seen uh, around campus today? So everybody's taking it very seriously and I'm very impressed with that. It seems like everybody's trying to keep everybody else safe and that everybody's trying to maintain their distance and be responsible for themselves and for others. I really haven't had any classes okay. yet, so my, this is the first place I've been. Okay. Um, I felt really comfortable because everyone that I did see had masks on. Mm -hmm. So um, I thought that that was really nice to see. It went better than I thought it would, not that I thought it'd go bad, just uh, you know, everything's new. I was confident that the rules were strict here. Mm -hmm. I was a bit nervous about the people who were just gonna not care but it seems to be like most people are taking the proper precautions here. I mean, I had a little bit of nerve like the day before coming, but when I got here for moving day, everybody had masks, so I was a lot more calmed down after that. The most uncomfortable thing with me was just making sure that I had like everything in place, like so that I could come here, so that I had like all the right information from all of my teachers and just, I think everybody's like learning as we go how to do this with the new normal. And for your own classes, um, what's kind of that split? I mean, are you doing mostly online, mostly in person, kind of a mix? Actually, all of my classes are online. Um, it depends on what my professor likes to do. So I have a couple classes on Zoom, and then I have a couple on WebEx, and one on Blackboard Collab, but they're all online. Almost all of my classes are online. Uh, my calculus class is in person only for tests. Um, I have three hybrid classes and then three online. And uh, I haven't had any in-class in class, um, classes today, but okay. uh, Wednesday I have about three of them. So far I'm having one class in person mm -hmm. and then the rest are online. And I guess my English class is in person, but it's only for the first week okay. to get to know the people. We're doing it hybrid. It's okay. um, like the first class I have, the 1500 success seminar that all the freshmen have to take. That's in person. And then... Um, some of my classes even today are like to be announced, but I think those are going to be online. Okay. And um, I believe my English class one day it's in person and then the next it's um, online. Me being exercise science, I'm going for athletic trainer, so okay. it's a lot of hands on. But I mean, it's going to get used to it, but I think after a couple of weeks we'll be used to it. It's not going to be too much of a shake up. Doing it online probably won't be as, you know, fun, but I'm sure it's nothing I personally can't adjust to. It'd be nice, you know, to have certain classes like psychology in person, but, um, or some of my art classes, you know, just to, just for the vibe. Okay. <laughs> but, um, we gotta do what we gotta do. I've been here for four years. It's usually super busy. Um, there's always things going on in the middle of campus and people making t-shirts, getting to know each other. Um, YC is really fun. They always do some stuff for their um, students so that they're having a great experience. And the, my first thought when I came to campus today was it's a ghost town. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been to the middle of campus, but I mean, it just seems like a lot of people are taking online classes. What are you, you know, sort of looking forward to and um, maybe, I, I don't know if dreading is the right word, um, but just sort of what are your expectations for this semester? Um, I'm looking forward to meeting some other people in my major and just uh, making some, like a new group of friends out of high school and just getting the first step in uh, starting my career. I'm really happy about that. Uh, I'm not really dreading too much. I'm just uh, ready to take things as they come. I'm just hoping things stay organized because I know um, with everything different, things can get out of control. But I think YSU has done a really good job at keeping everything, you know, locked down. Um, so I just hope everybody keeps wearing their masks so we can get over this thing and move on um, and keep everybody safe. I kind of expect people to get a little bit more loose with it, but they'll definitely crack down on it and make it more strict again. I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping it's still strict.
throughout the entire year because that's what we need for it to all go away anyway. For me personally, I'm hoping to just absorb and learn as much as I can from my classes. Well, as professionals, you know, all of us who have been working to really build out this this first experience for our students. You know, we have spent countless hours, you know, awake thinking about how is this going to roll out, building simulations to make sure that we're prepared. But looking at the students being here today, they're they're ready, they're eager to learn, and this Although it's different, this is our new normal and everybody is ready to rise to the challenge. For over a century, Farmers National Bank has stood strong. Through booms and busts, peaks and valleys, we've learned to know the seasons and how to grow in each of them. During challenging times, everyone is reminded of the value of solid relationships in both life and business. Farmers, stand strong.